I know I am super late making this, but I want to talk about the movie Wonka. If you've already seen it, let me know what I miss. But if you haven't seen it yet, maybe stick around and I'm going to share some things that could be triggering or sensitive to the child in your care. Now, I mean, super picky. We did really enjoy the movie, so I want to just preface with that. But there are definitely storylines and scenes that could stir up lots of questions, emotions, and thoughts. Um, and I just want to give you the warning so you can make an informed decision if this makes sense for you and your family. Spoiler alert, I'm going to share what happens in this movie. There is a secondary storyline about a little girl who um, was seemingly in foster care even for a short time and then adopted. Um, she is not cared for well by her adopted parents. She is neglected. She is not fed or loved or nurtured in any way. Um, and she gets punished when she acts out, misbehaves, and she is put in confinement in a closet. They do refer to her as an orphan and tease her about her orphan syndrome um, when she is acting out, which obviously is a horrible thing to say to a child and certainly not trauma-informed. Of course, some of these situations might be relatable to a child and some kids or young people like to see representation of their experiences. But of course, timing, context, maturity level, all of that matters. So take that into consideration. Now, this little girl is lied to by adults. She's supposed to trust. Um, and she spends a lot of time dreaming about what it would be like to meet her mother or to be with her mom. She thinks about where she lives and what it's going to feel like and be like to be with her. And I will say that at the end of the movie, she does get that reunion. She meets her mom again. She gets to be with her mom. They share a warm embrace and it is this happy moment. And that could be hard for some kids who are not able, at least not at this time, to have that type of reunion. There are some smaller moments, um, such as mentioning poverty, homelessness, the poor versus rich. There are some what could be seen as creepy scenes in a church. There's also some life and death situations related to drowning and a, a room catching on fire. I think those are the main points. If I forgot something, please let me know in the comments. Of course, you can always check Common Sense Media or Does the Dog Die? But I was trying to pull out specific things for my audience that might be relatable to you all. 